So this year for Inktober, I'm actually planning to do one giant drawing uh, where I incorporate all of the prompts in one. Um, and so as a result, I'm going to need to use an 18 by 24 piece of paper. And I'm not gonna be able to draw flat on that without just hurting my back, I think. So I have a plan here to create my own drawing board because all the ones that were available online had uh, had the drawing surface like never went below the level of the table unless you had one that like wouldn't actually sit all the way up and none of them did what I wanted them to do basically. Really what I just wanted was an easel but wider. <laughs> so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this easel that I have is just a table easel. And what I like about it is that you can extend um, the level of the easel down here because this, this desk is kind of tall for me. So I have to kind of modify it sometimes. Um, and I'm going to take a big old piece of ampersand hardboard. And that is actually going to be the backing for my drawing board. Um, now, my plan is to actually seal this, and then that'll be what I use. Okay, so I've got the hardboard up on the easel, and I went ahead and I just left the plastic wrap on for now um, until I get a chance to actually seal it correctly. And the paper fits great. I put some clips down on the bottom because the actual bottom of my easel is not very wide. I may do something about that. Uh, the other thing I'm running into is that this, this board is only an eighth of an inch thick and it's like a little bit, has a little bit of give. Um, and I kind of knew that might happen. So we've been thinking about options to kind of put something on the back to brace it. So I might do that if it really becomes a problem. Um, I think I was able to get this at a good height too, to where I feel like I'm gonna be able to work with it pretty well. And yeah, I'm going to give it a try, um, just drawing in the margins and the grid and stuff first. Okay, so continuing my adventures in making a drawing board. So you can get, there's a lot of sun glare, sorry. Um, so we are house sitting. Uh, in a house that's at a higher elevation, so it's it's cooler than it is in Phoenix. Like in Phoenix right now, it's like, it's been like 108, even though it's September, it's ridiculous. Um, and so we're up in the Prescott Valley and it's like 90 degrees, 80 something, I think today actually. So much better. Um, and so <laughs> we brought all my art stuff with us and I brought my drawing board and my plan was to get here and then finish the process of uh, going ahead and varnishing it. But interestingly, when, so I used the box that I got the board in, right? And then we had these foam packers on top and bottom that the board had originally come in and I put them on there and they had this print on there, right? Well, the acrylic, as we were afraid of, picked up some of the print. And at first I was like dismayed and then I decided, well, oh, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> So now I think I might see if I can get a little bit more of it on a couple other spots. Uh, I'm gonna try. <laughs> that may not work. Uh, but when I'm done with that, I'm going to start spraying um, varnish and I'm going to use the uh, UV resistant clear. And once that dries, I think my process will be done. This thing has turned out like a lot more fun than I expected. I was originally just gonna make it really plain, but then I went in with the acrylic inks, um, the Sennelier Gold and like, I think it was Primary Red or something similar to that. It's at home, so I can't look right now. And threw that on there in between the coats of the uh, gloss medium. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm calling this finished. So, <laughs> remember how I said that it was gloss, Krylon, UV resistant clear, which I have definitely used before, by the way, and it definitely was glossy. That sure looks like a satin finish to me. Feels like one too when I touch it. I'm not sure what happened. It's like I got a bottle that was mislabeled or 
Maybe somebody switched out the caps on it before I bought it. I have no idea. It's really weird. I mean, look at that. That is definitely like a satin finish. Really strange. But anyway, I actually don't really mind it because when you're under bright lights, the gloss finish can be really reflective and that can be kind of weird on camera. So this will probably work out better. Kind of love it though. It's fun. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to put my drawing paper on there and see how that goes. It might stink a little too much still for me to use it yet, but we're going to try. So after a little while of using this, I would say I'm pretty happy with it. The, uh, the varnish smell went away after about a week, so it doesn't smell at all anymore. And um, when I was putting the sealer on it, I hot glued this to the bottom to create a ledge. And I also sealed this, so even though it looks rough, it's not. It's not going to like splinter me or anything like that. And I'm happy with that satin finish because as you can see, I have these bright lights. And if that finish was glossy, that would be really, really obnoxious and very reflective. So I think that actually worked out quite well. And the size has been great because I've been able to easily just rotate the paper as needed. And um, it, it's not flopping over the top or anything like that. So, oh, and also um, I really like the fact that I did put this on a table easel where I can adjust that bottom ledge there and the top ledge so that's been convenient already i've actually adjusted the height a few times just based off of my needs when i was drawing so i'd say this was a pretty successful project i'm pretty happy with it